In class today, we talked about making a correlation matrix. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with the uh, data a spreadsheet. And I'm going to make a copy of it. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to say move or, or copy. I'm going to create a copy. I have to check this. I'm going to say just move it to the end. Okay. So I've made a copy of the data. And now I'm just going to rename this. And I'm just going to call it copy of data. And it's probably the easiest way to do it, how I'm doing it right now. Um, I'm going to, we're, we're making a, a, a um, correlation ma matrix. <clears throat> so I'm going to delete all the um, non continuous uh, attributes. So I'm selecting these, and I'm going to delete it. Okay, this is all continuous now. Okay, now <clears throat> I can go over here to data analysis and I can choose correlation. Now, um, you might not have this um, uh, you, you might not have this uh, data analysis um, thing option right here if you're using this on your own home computer. If you don't, you would go to file, you go to options, and then you would say on here add-ons and you have to make sure this analysis tool pack is is installed on your computer. But if you uh, you know, if you if you run into any questions, you can you can just Google it um, for more information. So I'm going to click uh, data analysis. I'm going to say correlation, okay, and then I'm going to select here, and I'm going to just select those columns. It's very important. You got to make sure this labels in first row. See the labels here. So we want to be able to describe what we're we've just selected. It's a column. You know, each one of these is by column, a group by column. And we're going to say, um, you know, put this in a new worksheet. And this is going to be a correlation matrix. Okay. It's taking a second. Okay, here it is. Okay, now. One, this is kind of hard to read at the moment because there's just too many, um, the digits are too wide. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to right click, format cells. You should remember how to do this from computer analysis. Okay. And now decimal places, let's just say uh, two decimal places, right? Here it is. Okay, what's really nice to do here is so you can visualize uh, very quickly. Um, where the correlation is is the highest and the way that you do this is you just select the numbers conditional formatting you go here um, color scale for example and here I just have it as a color scale so you know, as you can see here <coughs> one is the greenest but this is r right between this is new correlation between new and new uh, this here would be a correlation between uh, packs and new <clears throat> so there's very little correlation here. There's negative correlation here. Um, very strong correlation between fair and distance. Uh, very strong, well, um, coupon to distance. You know here also. So anyway, um, so that's how you do that. Thanks.